Hello everyone, welcome back to Adventures in Arcane Space. We've got another session lined up for you. And the players are going to do some more investigating on Brawl. So let me get over to the Rock Brawl map. There we go. And uh, if I remember correctly, what, uh, what you guys were thinking about doing this time is, uh, Braxton, you wanted to go visit the Watch, see if they had any information or rewards. Um, Hegemus, uh, was thinking about visiting the, uh, third of the, uh, trading houses. And Laftal, you were considering going to the Thieves' Guild. Am I remembering all that correctly? Well, correct for me. Uh, yeah. Uh, I was toying around with the idea of a thieves guild. It was more of a case of, well, if there happened to be like any jobs, you know, I'd ask if I could tag along and uh, not necessarily partake in the loot, but I wanted for information. I just have to make up some kind of story as to why I'd want that information. Okay, well, uh, who wants to go first, essentially? We can start with you, Braxton. Okay. Um, what time is it? Uh, well, you and Yeldon were um, going to be at the Seekers for most of the day. Um, Braxton has already visited the uh, Underwriters, and so for him it's about noonish, give or take. Okay. Uh, you and Yeldon would be busy until maybe four-ish. Sounds good. Uh, was anyone else going to be going with uh, Braxton? I can. Okay. Uh, Higamus, were you with them as well? Uh, yes. Okay. All right. Uh, so you uh, you make your way to the uh, the watch and uh, you meet Duroth again, uh, your good friend. And uh, upon seeing you, he says, "Ah, oh, my fine adventurers, what can I do for you today?" It's nice uh, to see you again, Druth. Mm -hmm. Do you want to go first? No, you can. It was your idea. Okay. Um, well, we've uh, been thinking about investigating this uh, these attacks by uh, a large scaver. And uh, we've heard that uh, a watch ship went out and it's gone missing. So... We was wondering if we could get some information. It's the uh, the the paper watch, paper wasp. We heard has gone missing. Uh, well, it's it's it was due back a couple of days ago. We don't know yet whether it's missing, but uh, that's actually uh, part of the Royal Navy, not not the watch. We uh, we don't do ah, much right. with the uh, we we don't patrol the the space lanes. Our our concerns are here on Brawl itself. Um, but certainly, if you want to investigate this, I'm, I'm sure that uh, all involved would be more than appreciative of your uh, assistance. Right. Uh, is there anyone who'd be able to introduce us to, the, to uh, someone in the Royal Navy so that we had a contact over there? Hmm. Not entirely sure. Um, that's that's above my, uh, my head. Um... I'm actually not sure how you would get in touch with them. Since so they're primarily based on the underside, and uh, you're not allowed yeah. down there. Yeah, unless we're criminals. Exactly. <laughs> and then we're not allowed up here. <laughs> oh, laughed all... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, you could... Uh, you could head to the uh, the gate to the, uh, the Royal Compound to see if... Um, someone there might be uh, willing to talk to you about that. Um, but you might, you'd probably know that uh, they're, the Royal Navy is kind of a uh, an arrogant insular bunch. Yeah. That's why, I was, uh, that's why I was thinking maybe a letter of introduction or something could help us. Um... Yeah, Duroth scratches his chin and says, no, My best recommendation would be to uh, just head to the um, palace gates and see if anyone there would be uh, 
will able to help you. Okay. Thank you very much. We'll we'll try that. I'm taking a look at the uh, royal enclosure right now. This might be a little bit more tricky. Yeah. Than uh, I I've thought. never, I've never known yeah. the uh, palace people to be very uh, inviting. Yeah, well, we don't get many opportunities across Lake Brow, so... Um, uh, maybe they'll be slightly more accepting if you had a paladin along? Yeah. Could be. Alright, well, um, you can go ahead and make your way to the, uh, the gatehouse, uh, which is right about there. Yeah. Okay, we'll head up there. Okay. All right. Uh, as uh, as normal, the uh, the gates are closed. Um, there are guards uh, about, um, and uh, you can they they stop you as you uh, cross the bridge and enter the gatehouse complex I itself. And uh, one of them gruffly says, "State your business." Greetings. Uh, my name's Braxton. I'm with some of the members of the company of the Broken Sword. Uh, we've uh, recently been investigating some murders and helped out the watch uh, and uh, we're now looking into investigating some missing ships that were supposedly attacked by a giant scaver. Uh, we hear one of the ships of the Royal Navy is overdue and uh, we were wondering if we could talk to someone because we're going to go out and obviously we don't want to get in your way and if your ship needs assistance then we'd be happy to assist. Hmm. Well, uh, that's that's the Royal Navy. We're part of the guards. Um, yeah. But I can certainly send a message there. Uh, see if they've got a contact who can uh, meet with you. Um, Mention that a uh, paladin of tear is also looking into this. He he nods. Hmm. Mm, that's uh, sounds good. It sounds excellent. Um, what what inn are you staying at again? Uh, we're staying at... You just say that you're, you you tell them, because... I can never remember myself. <laughs> Which one? I need to go look it up every time. The only in, uh, the only in name I can think of is Leaky Cauldron. No, it's not that one. No, uh, it's not that Starfarer's one. Rest. I believe it is. Yeah. That's the one. All right, we'll send a. I'll send a messenger to the navy. Um, certainly, they might be interested in uh, in, in talking with anyone who uh, is interested in helping them out. Yeah, and certainly, if they want to send someone with us, we'd be happy to have them on board. Mm -hmm, yeah. All right. I'll I'll make a note of that, and uh, I'll send a courier to them and uh, see what they have to say. Uh, I'll make uh, a note of your in, and hopefully, they will. Uh, send a, a messenger to you um, probably by this evening. I, they're, they're usually pretty prompt about such things. Thank, you. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. And it's uh, it's nice to, nice to be up here to, to see the wonderful view of Brow from up here. Oh, yeah, it's a great, great, great view. Unfortunately, we're uh, a little bit too busy protecting this place to really get to appreciate the view all the time. Yeah. Yeah, well, but not all that often that something bad happens, I imagine. Oh, no, no, not too often. Uh, we're pretty lucky in that regard. Always well, got to be vigilant. Yeah, well, we'll let you get back to your duties. Thank you very mm -hmm. much for your assistance. Thank you. Uh, you see him uh, head back into the uh, uh, gatehouse, and uh, y you can't hear what what's being said, but he's uh, definitely talking to someone um, as they close the door. Uh, one of the small doors in the gatehouse. Well, that went uh, pretty well. Surprisingly. Well, we shall see. He was polite. Mm -hmm. uh, um, I'm getting ready to go head to uh, the third merchant house if uh, any of you want to tag along. Okay. That sounds fun. Sure. What, what's, uh, what do we get? Oh, yeah, the... the Okay, I'll let you do the talking. House Yalar. Yalar? Yalar. Yalar. 
Okay, uh, you make your way to um, the uh, the residence of the head of House Yilar. Um You don't know a whole lot about him. He's a fairly private man, um, an older gentleman, um, does most of his dealings through intermediaries and things like that. Um, it's about all you guys know of him. Uh, you come up to his uh, the, the door, um, like most of the other small mansions uh, on Brawl. Uh, there really isn't much of a walkway. It's uh, the, the front of the house pretty much uh, abuts the street. Um, you know, maybe 10, 15 feet away, if, if, if that. Uh, and uh, the, door ha the doors have large bronze ram-headed uh, uh, door knockers on them. Cool. Hmm, that's interesting. Um, alright, I, I will knock on the door. Knockers. Yeah. Okay, uh, after a, uh, a moment or so, um, the door opens and you see a, a middle-aged halfling. Uh, he's clearly beginning to uh, bald, and uh, he's got a pair of spectacles on. Um, his clothing is uh, well-made, but maybe a little bit out of date. It's uh, uh, getting a little bit tight around the waist. Uh, it looks like probably in need of uh, some, some uh, tailoring. And he uh, he looks way up at you, Higamus, and, and says, uh, Yes, uh, what, what can I do for you, sir? Uh, greetings. Um, we are uh, members of the Company of the Broken Sword. Uh, uh, we have been investigating different crimes that have been going on here at Brawl. Uh, uh, one of them, we solved uh, some murders that were in the lower town. And now we're uh, looking into uh, the destruction yeah. by a large uh, scaver uh, that's been causing uh, damage to uh, uh, merchant ships and possibly uh, the Royal Navy. So uh, we're just here. Uh, uh, we just came here to talk, see if we can talk to the head of the guild to gain any additional, additional information because uh, it seems that. Uh, the scaver has been targeting uh, merchant ships that uh, uh, do trade and similar things that uh, your guild master does. Hmm. Um. Yes. Come on in. Come on in. He opens the door wide, and uh, uh, you step into the foyer. Um. He leads you uh, off to the side into a um an office. Uh. The desk and the chair are halfling sized and he uh sits behind he, he goes and sits takes a seat behind the the desk and he motions to the chairs uh in front of it and says please have a have a seat um my master is uh, much much too busy to uh talk to anyone at the moment but uh i i can certainly try to give you any aid that uh, uh you may require if i can answer questions for you uh, sure. Um, has, uh, any of your, have you had any ships, uh, go out recently, um, uh, along, I'll pull out my, uh, map and, uh, kind of circle generally the area that, um, uh, we've been told where, where the attacks have been happening. Have you had any, uh, harassment with any of your ships that, uh, or has anybody reported any, um, Incidents on any of your ships, merchant ships, mm, in this nope. area. No, not not that uh, has been reported up to me. Um, let's see. Uh, we're expecting another ship coming in in about two weeks. Um, we had one leave about oh, I think it was ten days ago now. Um, haven't had any problems that we know of. Do they usually use this shipping lane? Oh, ah, yes. Yes, they do. Um. If you guys have any questions, go ahead. Um, I'm thinking real quick. Uh, do you know any reason why, um, say there was, uh, some by targeting um, uh, the merchant ships. Um, 
that carry things like the blasting power and that sort of thing. Do you know any reason why somebody would be going after them besides just monetary value? Mm. Well, I mean, uh, certainly if someone... I mean, if it's a, a an actual monster, um, uh, I believe my master believes it's... Uh, he doesn't believe the, the stories about a, a giant scaver. Uh, he's more inclined to believe that uh, it's actually a, a dragon of some sort, uh, perhaps one of those radiant types. Um, certainly they can be quite capricious about uh, what they do, um, but if this were some sort of plot, I mean, I suppose someone could be trying to corner a market in, in these materials. Like I said, we uh, we trade in those, and uh, we have not had any problems yet, uh, though there are certainly some rumors going about the streets uh, that uh, we are none too pleased about. Yeah, uh, there, there have been uh, some people mentioning that... Uh, your Gelhouse might be uh, involved in the ships uh, that have been destroyed. Well, I can assure you that we most definitely are not. He seems uh, um, more than a little angry about uh, these rumors. Yeah. Um, so, um, is there a like a like some way that I could like uh, tell if he's being sincere or not? Um, not really. I mean, you could try a, a right. wisdom check to see if uh, uh, he seems sincere, but... Sure. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Could any uh, other of us try that too? Well, I mean, you could certainly be uh, trying to uh, detect evil intent on him, see if he's revealing anything. I could do that. Ten stare, go. Oh no, he's telling the truth. Yeah, you're 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 absolutely positive that he is uh, completely sincere. I can try. All right. Um, All right. While uh, Higamus, is, well, uh, since you're you're trying to detect evil intent, um, we'll uh, forego that. Um, you don't detect any in evil intent from him whatsoever. That includes lying. It would only include lying if the e if the line was uh, of evil intent. Okay. So it, it's not that it would detect the line itself, but it would detect that there was evil intent behind the words. And I you do know, not like, detect evil intent. If someone if someone knew that there was a dragon in a cave that loved eating humans, and they told you, no, 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 it's perfectly fine in there. There's nothing there for you to worry about. Go on in. There's treasure galore. You can take it. Accused. Yeah. Then 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 you would uh, detect that as uh, evil intent. Uh, but you don't detect any in evil intent uh, from him, right now. Okay. Um. So. I had an idea. I forgot what it was. <laughs> that happens a lot. So, uh, do you know anybody who would want to pin, pin uh, blame on your uh, house? Hmm. Well, I mean, uh, given that, given that we are trading in the same sorts of things as uh, House Torlin and House Calhane. If one of them were behind it, they could certainly be uh, trying to pin it on us. I, I, although, you know, given that that both of them have had ships uh, believed to be sunk by this creature, uh, th that seems unlikely. Uh, no, no, I, that uh, my my master. That's why my master believes it is uh, probably a uh, some sort of radiant dragon or, or something like that. Uh, out there, marauding. Radiant dragon. Yeah, radiant uh, dragons. You would know are the uh, um, yeah. uh, the more well-known dragons of wild space. Okay. Did we see like a baby one? Uh, no. Or was that, else? that was a space drake. Um, but they are related distantly. Very distantly. Yeah, radiant dragon is very big. It well, can it pull, would have killed you. It can, Young well, when they're full size, sword. yeah, true. Big ones could pull a ship along. Yeah. 
But they're also known to be uh, quite capricious. Um, some are good, some are evil, some are neutral. They, y you basically never know what you're going to get when you encounter one. Uh, is there anyone around that you know of who's uh, against uh, the idea of firearms that might want to uh, attack ships and set you and your competitors up against each other? He seems genuinely surprised at this very idea. He's like, uh, here in Brawl, uh, not at all. Wouldn't get far without a good wheel lock pistol. Yeah, I know. I, I hear stories of strange uh, grounding worlds where people don't like firearms. Without groundlings, you could never understand what they're doing. <laughs> yeah. I prefer but... I prefer steel on steel and the <laughs> roar of combat. Sword in hand. Uh is uh there any particular reason or any reason in particular that uh your boss thinks it's uh this uh dragon thing and not like a large scaver? Well, um, he, he's been around for a while, uh, he's been around a while, and, uh, he's never heard of anything like a giant scaver before, and typically, uh, regular scavers, uh, they, they usually uh, try to avoid crude ships and things of that nature, um, he, mm. he just believes it's, uh, you know, fancy, you know, sailor's fancy, um, no, 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 uh, a dragon is much, much more likely, much more believable. I hope it's not a dragon, otherwise we're doomed. <laughs> hmm. uh, do any of you have any more questions? Can't think of anything. Thank you very much for your time. We will certainly be trying to get to the bottom of this, and if if we could, can get evidence that it's something else, uh, that should help clear the any suspicion that your house is involved. Oh, I... I, I guess we... So I guess we know what it's not going to be unless Old wants to kill us. It, it, it makes sense. I mean, you got to know when to run. Just saying. Um, he uh, he stands as you stand, and uh, he holds out his hand to, to shake yours, and he says, um, and indeed, uh, I, we would be most interested in uh, learning anything that you do uh, uh, learn in your investigations, however. It uh, could be uh, quite useful. Of course. Okay. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll keep that in mind. Uh, I'll, I'll say uh, possibly uh, monetary involvement useful. Well, I don't know that we'd go that far. No. Ah! After all, we haven't had any ships lost. Well, Very we're true. always we're always looking to make uh, contacts. Mm, well, uh, certainly if. Uh... If there's something that we could do to help you in the future, if you help us, uh, that that's, uh, that's more than reasonable repayment. Sounds good to me. Yeah. Thank you very much for your time. Oh, indeed, indeed. And if you need anything else, please don't hesitate to come back and uh, pay us a visit. Thank you very much. And he sees you out. Uh, you do notice uh, on your way out that there's a pair of cats in the uh, uh, foyer. Uh, adorable. What type of cats? Um, they they are one is tabby, uh, the other one is uh, just uh, pure black. Oh, uh, Bombay. I I don't know cat breeds. Hmm. Bombay or black cats. Fine then. Yes. <laughs> I guess. Wow, that oh. cat's loud. I'll say nice cats. Oh, hi. My, my master is uh, quite fond of them. Quite fond indeed. Plus, it keeps the mice away. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Hello, cats. And Rex with that, he sees like you out, out under did the... It, did uh, he, go ahead. Do the eyes of the cats look any, any unusual? Not that you'd notice. Okay. Okay, as we leave, Braxton's going to chat to the others, uh, but he's going to see if he can uh, look back very uh, subtly from time to time, see if cats are following us. Out in the street? Yeah. Okay. Um, go ahead and give me an intelligence check. Which 
fifteen. Right, how intelligent was I? You're not seeing any cats. <laughs> But cats are awesome. Cats if are they're awesome. following you, then they're uh, keeping stealthy enough that you haven't noticed them. Yeah, or they've got some sort of bonus. <laughs> well, that could be too. Um, they're cat rogues. They got little daggers hidden in their in their fur. <laughs> well, <laughs> a house cat can kill a first level wizard. So that went pretty much how I expected. What do you think, uh, Braxton? Yeah, I mean, they if if they're guilty, they certainly are, are very cool customers. Yeah. It could just be that uh, the people who are hiring us are, are suspicious of them because of bad things that have happened. Considering how all of our questioning has led to the same line of answers, I'm not sure we're going to learn anything more. Yeah. I suggest we wait still to get information from the Navy. Uh, yeah. Like uh, Braxton was thinking earlier, may, there might be... I they agree, might, but I'm not sure how much some more sort of information we're going to get from even them. Well, it's not necessarily just information from them. But I'm hoping that maybe uh, if we're able to get uh, information for them or figure out what happened to their ship, they would give us some sort of reward. Hmm. If we if they know before we go out that we're uh, taking their ship into consideration, it's possible we're more likely to get a reward. Yeah. Than if if they think we've just stumbled onto their ship and rescued it. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking as well. Well, uh, ready to head back to the inn. Buy you guys a drink. Yeah, sounds great. Okay. Uh, you make your way back to the inn. Um, so let's go ahead and switch over to Laftel then. <laughs> All right, so uh, you're going to head to the <laughs> Juggler's Men Guildhouse? Yeah, I was just like buying various thief stuff that I may or may not end up needing. Okay. It's more of a specialized um, run on this one. Uh, I just bought myself a dark suit for now. All I was right. thinking about buying a housebreaker harness, but I wasn't that sure if they would clash. Um, I... The housebreaker harness would probably nullify the effects while you're wearing it of a dark suit. But it wouldn't cause any penalty. What about, like, climbing gloves or anything? Because they were, like... Uh, well, there's, like, several thief skills throughout the town, so I wouldn't be surprised that it'd be that rare. Um... Yeah, well, so a lot of it's going to depend on the type of stuff that you want, but uh, since it sounds like you're talking about burgling uh, equipment, uh, that stuff is, is all definitely available uh, with the Juggler's mm -hmm. Men. They are... Um, they tend to avoid violence when possible, um, which is not to say that they're not violent at all, but they kind of consider it beneath them, uh, except in certain situations like... Uh, obviously, if a thief is believed to have betrayed the the guild, um, then yeah, their their throat is getting slit. Um, but they would rather you know quietly burgle a house, uh, con some people, pick pockets, things like that. You know, uh, mm -hmm. do a lot of flashy stuff too um, uh, at times. But uh, they're they're not so much into the uh, um, backstreet murder kind of thing. So no, if, you're, if you're talking about uh, burgling equipment, you can definitely pick up some of that. Yeah. No, I was going to get some uh, climbing gloves and boots for the 10% for both of them. Okay. Uh, keep in mind that uh, uh, I'm going to say that everything is double price, though. All right. Even the dark suit that I just bought. Um, what is it described? How is it described as uh, being made? It's like robes. Uh, stuff that can be worn underneath like my not regular armor but obviously I'd have to take off the regular armor if I want to have its benefits it's like undergarments face wraps, robes it's all like dark and it's like dark blue um yeah I'd say that just uh, everything is uh, double price no. just because it's harder to, to get it in and stuff like that 
So, uh, another 30 guild. Sad face, but no, that's fine. <laughs> that that five percent on my weakest one of my weakest stats is uh, hiding shadows. So. <laughs> it always yeah. helps. It always helps. Um, so, do you want to like ask around, see if anyone knows anything, or, or what? Uh, basically, I'm going to go around, ask around the the uh, Fuse Guild that I uh, what what was the name of the, that house they just visited? Yalar. Uh, if there's any, like, uh, well, actually, no, just any of the free houses, basically, just to see if the, but more specifically, the uh, the last one just mentioned, uh, if there's any jobs going on there that I would like to uh, participate in, if they'll allow a trial running, yeah, so to speak, uh, I'll say I have a, a passing interest in some information there that I would like to get my hands on. Um, That's just basically my reasoning. Yeah, no one really knows you well enough to kind of say, "Sure, come on." Uh, but well, that's why I'd say like, like trial runs or any, right. any, you know. Right. Uh, but um, some ears definitely perk up at the idea that you might be willing to buy information that they came across. Uh, so like they wouldn't take you along, but they might come back and say, "Hey, we found these documents. You might be interested in them," kind of thing. Uh, yeah. That would be, uh, I would be interested in. Um, I would be, uh, well, I'd tell them that I'd be after information about the, uh, recent attacks. You know, what if they have, like, any involvement in the recent attacks, like, all trading information, you know, stuff that's been talked about in the last couple of sessions. Um, all right, uh, let's see. So, asking around, kind of chatting people up, uh, go ahead and give me a charisma check. Oh, charisma's one of my better stats. Well, 15. Can't see, 70, oh. That's okay. <laughs> um, yeah, the, uh... People just don't know you well enough uh, here, uh, but uh, you do manage to glean some information. Um, what you hear is that uh, that the House Calhane um, uh, warehouse uh, is heavily guarded, and they saw some large, large uh, objects being moved into the warehouse uh, fairly recently. Um, this isn't necessarily stuff that they've picked up, but, like, you know, I mean, uh, just because the, the Thieves' Guilds are rivaling each other and stuff like that, you know, things still mm. pass between them and, and such like that. Um, so, word on the grapevine is that there's, uh, some large, uh, equipment stored in the House Calhane warehouse, and it is fairly heavily, uh, guarded. Um, the House Yalar warehouse also recently got some uh, um, shipments in. Nothing quite as large, um, but there's a, a number of crates that were recently brought in, and uh, um, uh, rumors through the grapevine is that they're waiting for the next ship to come in before they ship them out. Um, oddly enough, the uh, uh, House Torlin warehouse apparently is fairly lightly guarded. Um, and there hasn't been much going in there recently. In or out. Well, they've got, like, barely anything left to them, I think. That's certainly a, a possibility. Um, but, uh, But, yeah, we never confirmed it, so... They also have not, uh, uh, seen any guard changes, like shift changes, at that warehouse. Hmm. What are you hinting at, Old? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not hinting at anything. I'm just describing stuff that they uh, may have may have learned. So I mean, you can, you can if you you know want to want to further investigate some of these uh, uh, ideas. You know, go for it. Uh, see if anyone has any more information or anything like that. I'm a bit of a lost, really. Uh, no, no one's I, broken I, I... into any of the mansions lately. Yeah. 
I, I, at the moment, I can't think of any anything that I would want to do just yet. I mean, if I'm not doing anything with my guild, I don't want to try a solo venture on them. Okay. I'm not that confident. Well, um, you could always basically say, I'm going to do this. Anyone want to come? You know, I'm going to go break into this place. Yeah, uh, the, 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 lo the local rookie of the guild. <laughs> well, you know, you got to get started somewhere. Wants to wants to destroy our our, our lovely reputation with the more powerful houses that have like power to do something about the local thieves guild these, if it goes wrong. These three houses are not particularly powerful. They're they're minor uh, shipping concerns essentially. Are the only places that I did have an interest in were the cargoes place, but they were outside of our jurisdiction. Yeah, the mansions you could get assistance for the uh, um, warehouses you really couldn't. Uh, I'll I'll consider it, but I'm not sure if I'll do it just yet. It'll be more of a along the lines of a a later resort. So I'm not going to do anything yet. I'm just going to head back. Okay. All right. All right. Um. But I'm also going to purchase those gloves, though. So. Yeah, you can go ahead and purchase the uh, the stuff that you wanted to purchase and uh, mm -hmm. um, head back to the inn. Uh, while you're there, go ahead and pay. Uh, you gotta you kind of like pay some dues. Um, yeah. Has it so gone up yet? Just just uh, gold. go with. I'm sorry. What was that? It was a guild last time, wasn't it? Oh, is that the introductory fee? I don't know if it went up or not. That was basically the introductory fee. Uh, now it's uh, just going to be five gold. It's kind oh. of uh, an irregular thing at this point. Uh, I've got. I can't start making money. <laughs> no, I've got money. What I mean is, if, uh, if I'm constantly going to be taxed, well, you, to speak. you you also. I mean, you, unless you've spent a lot of money, you have a lot. No, of money. I've got a lot. I've got a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> The, the good news is that uh, all the stuff that you gained from uh, uh, your adventures be beneath Brawl, that doesn't count. Towards their, their cut and everything like that. That's that's adventuring, that's not thieving, so. Alright, well, uh, if you have no further questions, you can head back to your inn as well. Uh, yeah, I, I don't. I can't think of anything, really. Okay, um... So, at this point, uh, everyone kind of meets back up at the inn. Uh, it's now, you know, late afternoon, four to five-ish. Uh, you can sit down and have a meal, that sort of thing. Um, at about this time, a, uh, a young man in the Royal Navy uh, uniform uh, appears and asks for um, Hagamus by name at the... Uh, um, with the innkeep, uh, who directs uh, him over to your table. Uh, he comes uh, and, and salutes you. I, I assume at this point everyone is uh, now together at the the table, if that's fine with them, unless they want so to do something off by themselves. Yeah. Uh, yeah I fine. stand up and uh, salute back. And I'll say, uh, well met. Right, Hi, sir. Stand up as well. I was uh, directed to uh, relay some information to you. Uh, there was a question about uh, our ship, the Paper Wasp, that uh, has not yet returned to port. Is that correct? Uh, yes, yes, that is. Good, good. Um, so, uh, what w w were the specific questions? Uh, I I've got a, a bit of information to give you, but I'm not sure exactly what you're looking for. Uh, perhaps we can... Uh... Is there a um, uh, a room here at the end that we could uh, like uh, use that's a little bit more private? In. Yeah, there's a private dining room that you can uh, uh, rent for the evening for gold. Okay, I'll do that. Um, here, let's uh, get to a little bit uh, more private accommodations than uh, what we're currently at right now. Uh, he nods at that and follows you to the uh, um, private dining room. Brax is following in. I'm, is everyone following in? I would assume so, unless, there, yeah. unless yeah. someone doesn't want to. It's just easier that way. No, I would. 
curious. Well, uh, let's have uh, the, your information first, and if we have questions, we'll uh, ask them after we've heard everything. All right, well, what kind of information are you looking for? Let me put it that way first. Uh, when the ship was sent off, um, what exactly they're looking for in that area, um, if they heard anything back at all. Okay. Uh, so he, he relays to you that the ship was uh, um, uh, left port at this point now nine days ago. Uh, it was uh, supposed to just be a, uh, a week-long search uh, trip. Um, Is that enough time to get to that area? Yes, yes. Uh, okay. the, the ships only uh, were attacked um, a day or two away within that, that kind of time frame. So that's plenty of time to get there, search around the areas, that sort of thing. Um, and, uh, it was due back two days ago. Uh, he can give you the rough idea mm -hmm. of where it was expected to go. Um, but, you know, it basically matches up with the, uh, um, uh, the, the standard shipping routes. Uh, that's basically what it was doing going out along there. Um, it was, uh, captained by a fairly well-known, uh, officer. Uh, let me go look up what his name was. Hold on a second. Hmm. If I can find it. Um. Alright, well I can get that later. Um, basically, uh, it was yeah. captained by one of the well-known uh, captains in the Navy uh, who um, you know, it, he wasn't sent out for any specific reason, you know, he, he wasn't chosen for this mission for a specific reason, More. but he's fairly well known as a pirate hunter, um, and has taken out a number of pirates, uh, you know, like, over the past decade, give or take. Have I known him? Uh, um, you, you would, you and Braxton and Ocker may have heard about him by reputation, um, certainly people right. around Brawl would talk about him, but, uh, none of you have met him before. Right. Sounds like um, sounds like they definitely were trying to hunt the same scaver we're going out to look for. Yeah, a um, little troubling considering the like. I think I've heard that captain. He's a uh, pretty uh, reputable. Indeed, he's mm. one of the finest in the fleet, sir. Uh, do, do any of you have any questions? Uh, well, we're going out to look for the, for the uh, ships that have gone missing. And uh, obviously we might stumble into the paper watch. Uh, we will render assistance if they need it. Uh, do you think the Royal Navy would like to send anyone along with us? Uh, I can certainly check on that. Uh, they may uh, wish to do so. Uh, I cannot answer I cannot directly answer that right now um, right. but certainly if uh, uh, you do head out and you come across whatever uh, you come across the ship either uh, disabled or in distress or uh, something mm -hmm. of those natures if you can render assistance that would be uh, very much appreciated by the Royal Navy of, of course we do that yeah and if we just the same as if we discover either any of the ships that uh, the paper was was sent out to rescue. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we were planning on doing it anyway. All right. Well, um, he will certainly go check to see if they want to send someone along, um, and they may do so, kind of an observer or something like that, or uh, someone support. Who, um, actually, you know what? You guys don't have a navigator yet. You could specifically ask for that. Uh, we would navigator. like a navigator, if that's possible. Hmm. Yeah. I will certainly make that request. Uh, that would that would that could indeed speed up uh, the search and rescue if uh, the paper wasp has been disabled. I will certainly make that request. Certainly, certainly, uh, someone who will be able to help us spot the paper wasp from uh, a pirate ship that just happens to be a wasp would would be useful. Um, yeah, I mean, the, the, 
the Brolian Navy, uh, they, they fly specific colors, and uh, the, the ships are painted slightly different. Um, now, a pirate may right. uh, decide to mimic that, but uh, they would certainly do their best. But um, the navigator would be more about helping you, you know, yeah. find the area, you know, move about the area that the ships have uh, been attacked in. Uh, barring anything special conditions, I should be able to tell the difference. Yeah, uh, you've got heraldry, so. Were there any other qu questions, sir? Uh, I don't have any. Uh, any of the rest of you have anything? Mm -hmm. No, thank you very much. You've been very kind. Yes, thank, thank you. you for your time. No problem. We are always uh, happy to uh, answer questions uh, for those interested in helping out the Navy. With that, he uh, salutes course. again and uh, takes his leave of you. Yeah, oh. stand and salute. <clears throat> Don't well, you want to score? Find, find a way of contacting him again? Possibly, you know, a point of contact. Um. Oh, he he tells you that if you need to get in touch with the Navy, uh, to just go visit the uh, um, the gatehouse and uh, they'll relay the message. They have Those runners pool there. guards. Well, it's not that the guards themselves. The guards have runners. For sending messages about mm. fast, but there isn't within the city itself. There isn't like a, a Royal Navy um, uh, office. Mm. They're on the palace grounds. Uh, they're actually on the underside, which you're not allowed to go to. Oh, I I grabbed um two extra. I put in two extra long swords onto the weapons and armor that I had on my person. All right, that's fine. Um, so it's good to have spares. Yeah. In case some of them break. Exactly. <laughs> Gotta keep up our name. All right. Um, in addition, uh, there is no message from House Torlin uh, that has come in uh, or is waiting for you uh, at at the end tonight. Mm -hmm. To expect there to be. Yeah. All right. Uh, so now that we've heard information for everybody, uh, what do you think our battle plan should be? Well, we don't have to head out until whenever we have to do that ex escort mission. So we got two options. We can wait until we have to do that, or we could try going out there ahead of time to see if we can find it before that happens. Yeah, just as a reminder, um, the House Calhane ship is coming in in five days, and they're going to have, like, two days of, you know, replenishing stores, loading up uh, equipment, and then they'll be going out two days later. I'd rather have another ship there, as in maybe the training ship that has its own weapons to back us up against this thing, if it really is really strong. Mm. Uh, that's not a bad idea. Um... How I think we should that? definitely uh, escort that other ship, though, um, on its way in. Yeah. Everything else seemed no, to be I, weeks out. I thought it. I well, thought it, it was coming in from a different direction. It is coming in from a different direction. And we it's... were only hired to escort it out, not in. Yeah, but you could do more than what you were hired for if you want. Yeah. Doesn't mean we're going to get paid extra. Well. Could give us a chance to practice. Uh, uh, I guess it with is. our spell jamming and that sort of thing, and the ship crew, it's going to take a little bit of time to uh, get acclimated. So, uh, out of, so does that mean? Oh, does that mean we're going to get navigated that we don't have to pay for for the first trip with the ship? Uh, maybe if they agree to it. Okay. I think I've already paid for not. it anyway. In Did the you? grand scheme of things, I don't think it costs us much. We're also going to have to work out who's doing what on the ship. Mm. How many? I mean, right, we need we need to assign a captain. <laughs> you need to uh... assign a captain and a first officer because uh, you need uh, um, you need one officer per ten crew or portion thereof. Well, uh, should we go based on highest charisma? 
Why? You guys need uh, to get charisma to come as men. And you're also the newest member of our party, so I'd be against that for uh, real yeah. plain reason. Sorry, I didn't yeah. understand what uh, what the answer was. Oh, actually, would... wait. Be... We should make Higamus be the captain since he technically has the highest rank. Okay, <laughs> that... Why did you He's think that? Hey. Well, I think well, the reason why I was saying charisma was let, the can't let, let Leva ask her question. And reaction okay. adjustment. Let Leva ask Sorry. her question. It's okay. I asked why you why you thought that the, the highest charisma would be relevant. Because people tend to follow those who have better charisma more loyally, and I was mainly going mechanics wise. That's meta gaming. <laughs> we don't we don't know what charisma is. <laughs> <laughs> um, wait, wait, uh, Ignore I me. Would actually think I would... someone like uh, Higgins comes across as very, uh, how can I say, uh, structured, uh, very structured and 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 uh, military. So he might actually be a good captain or at least uh, first officer. I don't know what his charisma is though. We look. Uh, we've also got we've also got other roles. We've got uh, someone's going to be, have to be in charge of the weapon. That's Hegemoth. Uh, is in charge of the weapon because he's the weapon expert. So oh, in right. terms of the Higgins weapon, himself. he can't also be captain. Hegemoth, yeah. uh, what would you like to be? We also need a cook. Um, so, I've had uh, some experience uh, being on ships before. Um, I don't know too much about the rest of you, um, especially on the Navy ship. Um, prior to joining up with... Uh, uh, you guys, I was on a uh, clipper. Um, of course, that ship was destroyed, but by goblins, who can blame us? Uh, but I've also had some experience uh, com uh, com being a commander of uh, a small group of people. This would be about the same size if we were to uh, do it. I think it's and I've than... had uh, training in it as well. I, I do have the leadership uh, proficiency. That would be the equivalent of you had training it in game, but yeah. Yeah. Um, I was also going to suggest one of us needs to be a cook. Uh, my cook, I have, I do have cooking, but I know I'm not well, the only one with that. Let's just do one roll at a time before we say what everyone can okay. or can't do. And... You know, we need to do captains. So we'll do captain now. Who's going to be it? Well, what I was going to say is we've also got some other position, like we need to have uh, the ship's spellmaster, uh, which I think is going to be... It would have to be, be Leva, because he's the only mage. Well, yeah. you don't Wait, have please, enough... You don't have back enough... Let's do one roll after the other. So, well, yeah. first of all, some of these roles uh, fluctuate. Um, yeah. Spellmaster is generally the most powerful spellcaster who's not currently spell jamming. Right. Okay. So uh, we were still trying to get to the to the point of who would be the captain and who would be the first officer. Yeah, my suggestion is uh, uh, I'll be the captain, and uh, I would like uh, Braxton to be the first officer. Sounds good to me. That works. All right. Mhm. Mm okay. So, so, what other suggestions do we need to fill? I guess the watch captain, or no, that's the first officer, isn't it? Mm, I don't know much about ship. Uh, one sec, Ald, uh, what are the positions for a small ship like this? Because I know not all the positions would be necessary in a smaller ship. Yeah, to a certain extent, um, there are... Once you have the captain and the first officer, you'll have uh, helmsmen, backup helmsmen, that sort of thing. Um, uh, which, again, they change. Um, other than that, uh, navigator and quartermaster are the big ones. Mm -hmm. um, oh. There's also positions like ship's mage, ship's cleric, uh, ship's spellmaster. Quarter but some of those vary. And you have a small ship, so it's n not all that necessary. Quartermaster would be like the person in charge of the food and cooking and all that, right? Uh, I think they're they're more in charge of provisions and equipment. Yeah. Okay. Basically, keeping in charge of the supplies. Wouldn't I would suggest uh, 
no, Braxton Duck, because he's the one who's actually been doing the documents. He's been like a, a natural selection, not to put him in those shoes, so to speak. Well, Higamus uh, is the one who's been documenting the oh, uh, treasure. Is he? Oh, yeah. sorry. <laughs> well, Asher, uh, the, you know what I mean. Asher, though. the player. Yeah, uh, that's the kind of thought process I was going to go for. That was like the natural sense. On the other hand, Braxton is the one who picks up everything. That isn't nailed down. <laughs> <laughs> Braxton is also also the first mate on this already, so... Well, can't... yeah, but you can have multiple... Uh, people can fill multiple roles. Uh, for example, I definitely plan on taking up the navigator's role once uh, I get a chance to train underneath uh, this other navigator for just a little bit, because I have my other uh, non-weapon proficiency. That reminds me, I never was able to find the freaking book on Spelljammer positions. <laughs> Alright, well you can talk to me about it uh, uh, after the, the game, and I can give you the rundown on Spelljammer proficiencies that are available. So, okay. the next uh, uh, okay. important uh, role would be Quartermaster. Would you say that, uh, Old? Uh, yeah. Because we were going to have a Navigator brought on board. But... I mean, to a certain extent, with, uh... So you only need two officers. Because mm -hmm. you need one officer per ten crew, and you're going to have, uh, um... A total of 18 crew. Um, people can fill multiple roles, and you can make up new roles for the players. The, the PCs. Yeah. Um... And that's that's kind of reasonable. For example, you could have uh, uh, ship's archer for the person who would be in charge of commanding uh, the crew when they're you know in close range with another ship firing arrows. That would be a good thing for Yeldon. <laughs> yeah, um, I have no idea what archer would be doing. I agree with that. And I mean, you can come up with stuff uh, later. All you really need right now are. Uh, uh, captain, first officer, um, and then of course the uh, semi-officer roles like helmsman and quartermaster. Helmsman, and stuff backup like hem, backup helmsman, and third helmsman. I don't. I think we only know. have one arcane spellcaster. You have two spellcasters. Two spellcaster, one arcane one. Yes. One was. So I didn't know clerics could do it too. Yep. Yeah. Anybody who can cast spells can do it. Yeah, okay. Ocker, you and uh, Yeldon, when you get to uh, substantially higher levels, you can pilot spell jamming ships as well. Hmm. Okay. okay. We're not there yet. So, nope. the helmsman would be the, uh, the main helmsman would be the uh, next major role, you'd say, old? Well, helmsman tends to be whoever's on the helm at the moment. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and so then that's... you have your two other helmsmen if we're doing three ships. And, okay, and, so... and you could have backup helmsmen or second shift. You know, you can label them that way if you want, or you can uh, just say helmsman, and then you've got ship's mage, ship's cleric, uh, ship spellmaster for any additional spellcasters who aren't uh, currently on the, the helm if you want it that way. Speaking of which, if we are doing sh shifts of three, that means we do need a third person who can man the helm. We you haven't can... decided that really. We are the, the, the way we are uh, we are organizing the shift. Well I thought the way it was laid out there was only enough room for half a third of the people to sleep. Well um, uh, first of all you can pilot for twelve hours. So you don't need mm -hmm. three people. If you if you've got two then you can get full twenty four twenty four hours of uh, uh, flight flight time. Okay. Um, so, so some of the, um, specialists that we hired for, uh, the ship were, one was a weapons, uh, master person, another was, yeah. uh, uh, additional, uh, helmsman, or was it two additional helmsmen? I can't remember now. Well, you didn't hire them.